Okay, Handyman Chronicles, uh, what are we on? Like task 20 or something. So today, what we're doing is we're replacing this light fixture. It was one of these little can lights like that. Um, so I've already removed it. And I ordered um, a light fixture originally, but it came and it was covered in this uh, like gray plastic, which is a pain in the butt to get off. So I ended up um, just returning it and ordering something from Amazon. So let's open this up, see what it looks like. In the box, we have another box. Let's take that out. Okay, so this is actually the third chandelier or flush mount chandelier that I purchased from this company. I've got one in my master bedroom. The second one um, is this one in the living room. You can go check that video out. And then this is the third one. It's gonna be like a long rectangular one that will hang above the dining room table. So the instructions aren't super thorough on these, but it's a pretty simple process. And I mean, the diagram really shows you where to hang all the crystals, which is the, the most uh, time consuming part of this process. Breaking everywhere. Boom, there we go. It's gonna be the base. these boxes should be all the little crystals. And then we got a little individual crystal in there. This is really similar to the one I put in the living room. And it's got the pre-drilled holes. So as you see, it's a billion of them. And then we got two more boxes of crystals. Um, so that's going to be the the tedious process, but the first thing we have to do is just mount the base up here and adjust it. So that's step one. This particular one, these strings here are like super long and you just press in on those little uh, parts up there. And a good uh, tip to make sure you're level is you can get a leveler and just kind of sit it in the middle. That way you can see if you're level and then turn it the other direction to make sure that you're level on both sides. And all the excess string that's left once you mount it, um, I, I left about four inches of, of um, extra uh, coming out and I cut the rest off because it was literally super, super long. It's like this is how much I ended up cutting off, um, you know, almost a couple feet. So um, it comes with plenty for any height that you would want. So next step is, of 
course I got fingerprints on it mounting it is I'm wipe it down get all the fingerprints off you see this cord's kind of extra long I think I'm just gonna find some way to discreetly uh, just kind of lay it within this so that it's not noticeable so it looks I don't know um, looks more straight and less noticeable and then it's time to hang all 20 billion of the crystals all right if you watched the previous video where i mounted one similar to this you already know this tip but i'll say it again for this video before you go and hang all 50 billion of these little crystals do yourself a favor put all the light bulbs in first Now we have to assemble all the crystals. So tip is lay them out and probably assemble all the ones that need to go together first, or at least a good portion of them. And then you can start hanging them. I have a number of these things put together because the you know little crystal ball at the end and the little string thing were separate. So I have enough of these put together to go ahead and start hanging them. Uh, here's a tip. Um, this little chrome part gets fingerprints very easily. So it comes with a little, um, little white glove. This is the part where you definitely want to use the glove so that as you're hanging each one, you're not putting fingerprints, which would be nearly impossible to get rid of uh, once you have all these hung. some progress we've got all of these little bad boys hung up so now it's gonna be these long little crystal thingies that are gonna go uh, on the outer ring all the way around and then we'll be done <laughs> 